Good afternoon. Welcome to the 3 p.m. update for the severe threat for Thursday, June 19th, 2025. Well, since we last chatted, our thunderstorms have started to intensify. You can see the lightning has also increased. We have a couple of severe thunderstorms moving through northeastern New Jersey. Another severe thunderstorm over portions of the Hudson River Valley lifting up into northwestern Connecticut and a cluster of severe thunderstorms down towards Virginia. Now, what we're gonna be watching for over the next couple of hours is to see whether this line here overwhelms the development of the thunderstorms here, which could reduce the impacts of severe weather for us as we move on through the afternoon and evening hours. The reason why is that if you get intense lifting here, you have to have sinking air somewhere. It's how the atmosphere balances itself out. So if we continue to get more intensification here and more intensification here then there must be a reduction a a sinking of the air to the north which is right about here so that could actually spare us some of the worst thunderstorms but we have to continue to see whether this process continues or not when we take a look at all of the observations again plenty of moisture in the atmosphere plenty of instability so all of the fuel is, is there all of the uh, potential instability, all of the potential energy is there. We're also seeing an increase in, in the shear as our 850 millibar jet strengthens and starts to lift towards the region. We're also seeing some shear increasing here. All this is speed shear as the winds are unidirectional. In other words, they're all coming from the southwest throughout the entire atmosphere. So we're not seeing much in the way of vertical wind shear. Again, we have to keep an eye on the environment right around the I-95 corridor because of the urban heon effect. Sometimes it causes a low level veering of winds and that can lead to small mesoscale lows that can instigate tornadoes. So we'll have to watch out for that because we've seen that occur even in environments that weren't exactly the most favorable for even severe thunderstorms. So. That's a factor that we're going to be watching very carefully as we move on through the afternoon and evening. Taking a look at our visible satellite picture, wanted to show this show as we get a new update, the cumulus field that has grown here. So this tells us just how unstable the atmosphere is because this cumulus field, which is kind of like the baby factory for thunderstorms, has really grown and really started to mature. So what this tells me is that, hey, even with the strong thunderstorms taking shape here, we can still get some thunderstorms pop up almost with little notice throughout southern New Jersey, central New Jersey, the New York City metro, the Philadelphia metro, and also over the interior. So we have to be aware of that and keep an eye on that as you move on through the afternoon. The HRR models are slightly improving, starting to catch up to the NAM prediction, but a little bit still underwhelming. But you kind of get the idea here that uh, these thunderstorms are going to continue to be a threat. We'll see whether or not they maintain their severe nature because of the stronger influence to our south that could limit that development. But we'll continue to watch that. Again, when it comes to convective weather, it can be a very fine detail that makes all the difference. So we're going to be watching this very carefully as we move on through the afternoon. In the meantime, these thunderstorms, if they happen to develop over you, they're going to be capable of torrential downpours, frequent vivid lightning, small hail, and wind gusts over 55 miles per hour. So definitely use some caution. We'll be back in the next hour. In the meantime, stay safe out there.